Hi guys, welcome to this session. For those that do not know me, I am Tabitha and I will be your spiritual advisor for this reading. Okay, so this will be a reading for the sign of Taurus. Um, it is a month prediction into uh, September. Um, this could be very specific today, but uh, there's a lot of messages, so some of them may resonate. If not, please feel free to check out one of my other videos or other readers. There's lots of us here on YouTube. Okay, so uh, your stone for the day is Kiwi Jasper. So this offers support during times of stress. Um, it brings tranquility and wholeness to a situation and yourself. Um, it unifies all aspects of your life, so it really helps to align things. Um, it aligns your chakras as well, and it absorbs negative energy. Okay, so Taurus. Um, I see that you've kind of been on top of the world right now. Um, there's definitely been some completion in your life. Things um, are coming to uh, a close or full circle. Um, and that you are doing a lot of uh, inner inner thinking or inner wisdom now. Um, but I'm also getting that um, there is a secret coming out. Um, someone that uh, kind of helps you in the world um, someone who is probably a little bit younger than you, a little mischievous, uh, very smart and intelligent, may sometimes cause you to be like, oh my gosh, they're going to get me in trouble, but um, they are actually a very resourceful person for you. They are very generous. They are intuitive. Uh, they definitely have like inner knowledge, um, like Hierophant energy. Um, they, This person may be... Um, leaving to go fulfill their own dreams and um so there could be an ending to a relationship that did come through for somebody okay so um the next card you had was the page of swords so this is um someone usually younger for someone this could actually be uh your child um this could be yourself um this person may be um kind of uh they kind of cause problems. They kind of, they kind of cause issues. Um, uh, so they are telling me that um, there has been um, working on something here. I'm strongly hearing like a like a child. Um, your your child um, has been working along all summer, but they are being a little bit mischievous, and um, they definitely. Um, you are intuitive and you know what's happening and you got to put an end to it. Okay, so uh, we have here that for yourself and career, um, you've been working really hard at something. Um, I do see some sort of ending coming, but um, I see that um, it's a completion and that you're going to be rewarded with what your what your wish fulfillment was. Um, you have victory and success here. So they're telling me that anything that you've been working on is going to be victorious going forward. Um, I am hearing that, yeah, that you've been uh, working hard at your craft. Um, I'm hearing that this may be something actually more in the, the spiritual healing um, but you have been putting a lot of time and effort into this and you are going to be re rewarded for it. I find it is something that's more aligned with your passion, not so much uh, your your head like or your intellect. Um, it is definitely from the heart, whatever um, you have been. You put your heart into your work as well and that's really paying off and um, you're going to see some, some payout because of that. If you are dealing with a court case, you got justice here, so it is going to rule in your favor, I'm hearing. Um, it's going to make sense. It's going to be logical. It's going to be fair. Um, we have the Knight of Wands here. So um, this is a, some, this is fast pace. Um, this is like a message coming in. Um, I don't, it, maybe, um, maybe this person actually, uh, the person that had the relationship um, with the, the one that was kind of mischievous, but they really counted on them to, to kind of fight the world at uh, work and stuff that, that really helps them out. Um, it looks like that person may be getting married and that it may be part of the reason why, um, you know, your partnership kind of ends. Um, but I do also hear that um, perhaps like you're, you're going to get a message or like a, an invitation to a wedding or somebody is definitely um, going to get engaged and tell you about it. Um, I do see, but somehow this affects you. 
somehow this affects you. Um, so if it's, if it's maybe your child, maybe they'll be moving out now or something. Um, but uh, it kind of puts you like, you kind of um, don't really know what to do because uh, you feel like you don't have very much control in this situation, but you actually do. Um, and uh, But it's going to be a, a wish fulfillment. So there's going to be um, a really solid foundation here for them. Um, and for you, and I just see uh, that you guys will actually be like uh, still a family, still very family oriented, and um, it, it is going to be good. Um, if this is yourself, um, maybe you will be getting a message of love, and it may also, um, it's going to come in hot from some, I'm hearing like a fire sign. Um, and it may put you in some sort of indecision, um, and you might have to think a little bit about your future and what you want as a solid foundation um, going forward and what you want as a home and happy life. So you should also take the time to think about what, what you want um, because you know wishes are being fulfilled at this time for you guys. And there is a higher connection I'm hearing for some of you. Um, so some of you are really in tuned. Uh, you're getting those messages. You, you know what's going on and um, they want you to know that, uh, you know, the wish fulfillment is definitely coming for you guys. You had the Ten in Cups, so, you know, complete, and you, you have a world too, so a lot of completion um, in home and in love. You are going to be victorious for a bunch of you. Um, it is, and I do see a relationship here too, which I will get into. Um, but uh, yeah, so there, for, for a group of you, uh, there is going to be a new beginning in love. Um, if this is in a, if you're already in a relationship, I see that there may be um, kind of like a rebirth, okay? Um, for some, there could be a little bit of, um, um, a breakup. Like for some of you, you may be going through a breakup because we um, we had this the swords and the breakup could have been, um, you know, you're intuitive. So maybe you found out what was actually happening and that person was being mischievous and, you know, they were partying and they were doing a lot of um, immature things and they were kind of lying about it and they weren't being honest and it caused you a lot and you had to really think it through and figure out you know what you wanted um and you ruled with your heart and um you're gonna uh you you're, you may be walking away from from that relationship um so uh we also do have um you know someone the smoker <laughs> someone's got to quit smoking they're they're telling me um i am just hearing like be, be be cautious of your codependencies or your addictions um you know it may take a little bit of strength but uh, ask archangel michael to help you with that um, but I am hearing that there is some, you know, um, uh, attachment issues uh, here with the, with the devil, and they are saying specifically smoking. Um, uh, and they're telling me health too, like it's affecting your health. Um, you um, and I know it's 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 you because it's a fire sign that's coming through here for both, so male and female. If you are a smoker and you are a Taurus, this is really now the time to quit. Um, it's going to take strength, but leave it behind. It may cause you a little bit of like fear and anxiety in in the start, but um, you know uh, it will be fine. You'll you'll conquer it. There will be victory for that. Um, you also may be pregnant, so you need to quit smoking. Um, that is coming through too for for somebody. Um, so yeah, um, and you want them to be a little happy, healthy boy, so um, you should really quit smoking. Um, okay, so I am seeing that uh, if you are in a relationship, you are probably in a relationship with um, someone who is the same as you. You guys are uh, very um, charismatic, you guys are generous, you have big hearts, um, you're fiery, you're passionate, uh, you guys work really well together. Um, you may be experiencing some challenges right now, but you guys have the the strength to overcome that. Um, they do show me, you know, you guys are kind of working on some of your own things that you know you need to heal at this time. But just remember that you guys can come together and um, with your strength, you guys can fix and heal each other as well. You guys do have a really strong partnership. Um, for some of you, uh, you may have thought that, that that person that was deceiving you, the heartbreak one, um, he, he may have come off as that to you but behind the scenes you saw what was truly happening and, and you did um, walk away from that and leave that in the past and behind 
Um, and you know, it's caused you some some sleepless nights, but uh, there is going to be a message of love from a younger person. So I don't know if you hear it, like or like if someone like delivers you a, a like a letter and they're a kid or something. But like um, it does come, or you like hear like through the grapevine through someone else, through someone younger, or, like a little. I see like a little kid at a party being like, "Did you know that so and so likes you?" And like I don't know, it's just funny. Um, uh, yeah, but um, there's there's definitely celebration and victory because of it. Um, I see I see it being very good. Um, okay, and um, so they are telling me that um, right now, if you are you know um, a charismatic, charming person, which I believe you are, um, Taurus, uh, there there may be something that you need to leave behind. Um, you know, pack up your cups, walk away. Uh, because there is, you know, love and fulfillment and celebration beyond whatever was holding you back. And for some of you, it is like your vices, right? For some of you, it it may really suck that you're going to lose that person. Um, for some of you, you know, maybe your court case is now coming through, so um, things are are just, and you're just going to leave that in the past. You know, maybe your kids are are getting married or getting older, and um, you're just going to let them kind of do their own thing now and embrace what what is coming for them in their lives okay so uh we do have some messages here from your angels so um this is the beginning of a new ex emotional experience that could grow into something deeper you may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing a social social invitation could be soon on its way to you there's a person involved who is very gentle and loving with only this kindest intentions it could could be you especially if you are art artistic shy and sensitive okay um you also got the helper of abundance although you have a lot to do it is important that you get organized first once planning is complete you can roll up your sleeves and get to work your guardian angels are surrounding you and are ready to help you this card indicates a very loving kind and loyal friend someone with a big heart who's quick-witted endless patience and that person could be you. So I do see for the person that's going to lose that person, um, because they, they're telling me that your friend that you're that you're going to be separated from, um, uh, you're going to have to learn to fall, but find those qualities in yourself that you leaned on your your partner or your colleague or your friend for. Um, Messenger of Abundance, wonderful news regarding your career. A new job, a promotion, or an acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You may feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation may involve someone who's fun to be around and sometimes mischievous. This person who may be, may be you. You may be youthful, awesome, optimistic, and clever. Yep, that mischievous person, they, they definitely came through for you guys. Um, so they're telling me that in, um, or like for, to tell you guys, uh, you did get the past life relationship. You've known each other before. So that connection that's really strong, there's a reason because that's a guided connection and you two are supposed to be together in this life. So, um, you know, continue to work on that partnership. Um, for others, it may have been a karmic that you were just in that situation with and maybe that's why that heartbreak uh, was so was so hard um somebody like is coming into your life that it was a past life relationship and you guys are going to be meeting now and um the reason that uh uh, the separation from the friend slash colleague you guys have also known each other in a past life and that's why you felt the connection codependency yeah guys the smoking the devil you got the codependency addictions are affecting your life you got the devil there they're definitely telling me smoking um children yes if you you may be pregnant you need to quit smoking um your love life is being affected by children so they were telling me that for that they're also saying um you know the, the parents that are kind of struggling right now with the mischievous uh kid that's up to no good um don't don't um don't be so hard on your partner okay uh you guys um you gotta you guys gotta come together uh figure out what's going on with that child um i do see uh you know a child has addictions and it is um really affecting you guys you may need to check them into um you know some sort of facility for um some time of um of cleaning and cleansing right like i'm seeing like um someone going to to rehabilitation center to get clean um and archangel michael is also coming through here so it also tells me that there's there's definitely addictions if you are addicted to something you can call on archangel michael to help cut you um 
away from those addictions. He's really good at, at helping with addictions. Um, and also, yeah, I'm definitely getting that child um, that, that needs to go to rehab. Um, Archangel Michael, we send, we send them Archangel Michael as well. Um, for some of you, uh, you know, maybe um, uh, one partner is like enlightening and uh, they're just saying that your love life is being influenced by religious upbringings and spiritual path. And, but I'm, I'm feeling that like someone kind of feels challenged or maybe a little bit disconnected from their partner. Um, but if you share your religious factors and I feel that this person does love you, so, you know, you guys will work through it. Um, and I'm also hearing that, um, you know, uh, when it comes to your children, there may be right now, you guys may, uh, you're, you and your partner, if you did just get pregnant, you might kind of um, be like, oh, but I want to raise them this way and I want to raise them that way. Uh, you guys can balance out um, your your ideas and your religious factors. Um, I am hearing that maybe way more with your, your heart on that one. Um, and less uh, so analytical and what people always like. It doesn't need to be the old tradition. Um, you guys should, should do what feels right for you guys, not what everyone else is saying you should do. Um, for some of you, a new person is coming in. I saw that. I saw that messenger. I think that you're going to get a message from someone that is younger. Um, this person is uh, is going to stir romantic feelings in you for sure. You're going to be very attracted. It is a past life, um, a soulmate, this, this person that's coming in. And for some of you, you just got to trust that everything is going to work out, okay? And there may be some challenges right now. Um, you may feel like you're not always in control, and I know that's really hard for you, Taurus, but um, just know that uh, this, this situation is calling for you to have faith and Archangel Michael is there helping you. Um, you also have a very strong bond with the bear, with the fairies. Um, they like berries. Fairies like berries. So if you are, um, you know, talking to your fairy friends and you want things from them, then um, something to offer them is uh, like uh, berries or nuts. They really like that. Um, they're saying that you do have a strong bond with these fairies, so you should ask for their help. Um, and that your life purpose involves mother nature. I am hearing nurturing as well. I'm hearing um, like growing families. I'm hearing that you are also um, like growing a garden. I see someone growing a garden. Um, and I, I am hearing that like you're here to help the planet and do your part. And um, it is part of your, your life purpose here. Um, they're saying to open your third eye chakra. Um, it's safe for you to see the energy of love in all its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. So you actually might be intuitive. If you are trying to work on that, there are crystals that you can use to enhance that. You can also ask for archangel's help. Um, someone like Metron would be a good archangel to call in to help you with your spiritual gifts. And Archangel Michael. <laughs> you can always call on Archangel Michael for everything. He is a number one angel for a reason. Okay, guys, I hope that this helped. I hope these messages reach the people that they need to. Um, thank you so much for letting me tap into your energy. I truly, truly appreciate it. I love all your love and support, guys. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.